Hello everyone, in peace of Christ all of you, please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. And please behave in the chat, otherwise we have to disable it, focus with us and let us see what we will talk about today. In Kuwait, Kuwait is a Muslim country as you know, it's a very rich country and the reason it's rich not because people there are people of technology or they have knowledge, but because they have oil. And in Kuwait, there is a very famous man, young man, who is a TV host. And we see him right now in the screen. This person, he decided to leave Islam and to become a Christian. And since then, the Muslims are going crazy. <clears throat> Yesterday, enter this guy, he announced... I mean, until he announced that he is out of Islam, he was the most wonderful person, he was the most smart person, he was the most intelligent, but today he is the most stupid one. He is ignorant, he is crazy, he has a mental problem. All of this because he decided to become a Christian. And this is his video here, he is showing the cross in his neck. He said to everybody, you should know from now on, I am a Christian. And now the Muslims are posting verses from the Quran. Uh, may Allah guide him back. May Allah blah, 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 you know, you know. This guy here is posting a verse that says, the one who seek other than Islam as religion, it's not going to be accepted from him. Mm -hmm. It's not? Actually, if we read this verse, we will die laughing. This verse alone is enough to make, to make a billion Muslims leave Islam if they knew what it says. This is the chapter of Ali Amran, which proved that Muhammad is an ignorant, thinking that Mary, she is the, son, the daughter of Amran, <laughs> which is stupid and have nothing to do with the truth thinking that Moses and Aaron they are the brothers of Mary or Maryam and this verse alone or those verses are enough to prove Islam to be stupid so they are trying to make him come back to Islam and they quote for him this verse let us see this verse together so we can laugh together this is the best this is the best comedy this verse will make this guy go back to Islam let us see it together all right, <clears throat> chapter three, let us go to the Quran. And love together. Three eighty five. If you have a little intelligence or little intellect or little logic, you will notice that this one, this, this Quran is written by someone either is taking hashish or he is under the influence, influence of, uh, I don't know, you tell me. Whoever seek religion other than Islam, it will never be accepted from him of him. Okay, that's one, it, we, we, that's fine. And in the hereafter, he will be one of the losers. Okay, that's fine. But look what he said here. How shall Allah guide people who disbelieve after they believe? <laughs> and after they bore witness to the messenger. <laughs> so Allah will not guide the one who leave Islam to come back to Islam. So what those we hear in the history, the tens of thousands, they left Islam, and then Abu Bakr, he attacked them, and then they converted to Islam again. <laughs> and, and how Allah will guide them, huh? How Allah will guide them? So Allah will guide who? Will guide, isn't it you Muslim will say, that everyone, your prophet said, everyone is born as a Muslim. So based on this, 
How Allah will guide those who are law? He made them Muslims and they left Islam. All of us, we used to be Muslims according to Islam. Actually, this is true. My mom, when I was a kid, she used to say to me, I grab anything and like, uh, you know, uh, 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 like even if it's a dirt and I put it in my, in my head, maybe. Huh? Crazy, huh? Because I was a Muslim maybe at that time. And she said to me too that I used to poo poo in, in the diaper. Uh-huh. Maybe because I was a Muslim at that time. Because everyone is born as a Muslim. So if Allah will not guide those who leave Islam, what if this guy come back to Islam? How you will fix it? How many people, you Muslim, you say he left Islam and then he became a Muslim again? If we can find one, that means Quran and Allah and Muhammad, it's a joke, it's a lie. Uh, <clears throat> if we go to a different verse, just to show you the comedy, how it works. And actually here, those who do this, Allah curses them. The curse of Allah and the angels of and all mankind on them. Uh -huh. You are cursing me now? What kind of God this God is? How that will help? this guy to see the truth hmm. if we go into different verse in the Quran just to show you how silly this book is and especially if you are a Muslim listening listen carefully and see how silly your Muhammad is <clears throat> Allah will not guide the kuffar. Chapter 2, verse number 60, <laughs> Allah will not guide the kuffar, so Allah will guide who? Muslims is the one who wrote your book. Have a brain? If Allah does not guide the disbelieving people, so how you say to us this person converted to Islam? But the Quran just said, Allah don't, don't guide the disbelieving people. So Allah guide who? The world will be leaving? Just... So why he said Muhammad? If Allah guide only the believing, that means uh, there's no need for Muhammad, everybody believe. Everybody who I believe already, Allah will guide him. That's it. So what Muhammad, what what Muhammad job exactly? Additional to play with his nose, women offering him themselves to sleep with him, collecting money and gold and silver, raping women, thinking about marrying children, and he did. Raping the slave in the bed of the wife, and she said to him, In my bed, in my room, in my day, you idiot. Allah will not guide those who disbelieve. So, so those who converted to Islam, how, who, who guide them? Mickey Mouse? Look at this. All of those verses saying the same. All of those saying the same. Allah will not guide those who disbelieve. And who are the disbelievers? They are the unjust. They are unjust people too. Chapter 9, verse number 37. Allah don't guide the disbelievers. The kuffar. Mm -hmm. What is this? This is Quran? Or somebody was making comedy and Allah guide not people who disbelieve is that the manual come with the with the with the with the machine and the manual say we don't fix the broken machine so Allah fix what the machine which is not broken 
Imagine you call customer service, you bought a TV, and you say to them, my TV is not working. And then they say to you, uh, we don't fix broken TV, but this TV is made by Allah. Allah don't fix broken TV made by Allah. <laughs> what a customer service. <laughs> So of Allah, guide not people who disbelieve. He will guide who? Who? You tell me. And then Allah, he had set seal in their heart, in their ears, in their eyes. So how they can see? <laughs> Guys, why Christian parents don't... If you ask me, why Christian Prince is not converted to Islam? I'm going to answer you. Very simple. Christian Prince will not convert to Islam because in the Quran, chapter 16, verse 108, it says that Allah, he set a seal in his heart. Mm -hmm. So Allah, he set a seal on my heart, in my eyes, on my ears, and then I don't convert to Islam, and then Allah will punish me for not converting because he just set a seal. Hmm? Genius. Muhammad could not explain his failure of convincing people. That's why we see Islam is spread only after Muhammad. He have gang joining him. If we go to a different verse, look at this. <clears throat> What a hilarious book. Allah, he have a teaching for us. And Allah teaching will guide many people, but will mislead many people. <laughs> so if you are a Muslim and your son, he opened the Quran to learn. He will find this. He will say Allah is not shy to give an example even of what is a, a, a mosquito and what is bigger. Here the Muslim, they say a buffet. They say it says a buffet. Well, mafuqaha, a buffet. This, the scientists, they found uh, something grow in the top of the mosquito. <laughs> it's about the size, you idiot. So, okay, so Allah don't shy to talk about even about mosquito to give you an example. But what the mosquito have to, what is the example? What is the example? And then he say in the same verses, in the same verse, will the examples of Allah will guide many and will misguide many? Like what the heck? Why Allah give us parable? Answer Allah, Allah answer, he answer, he said, by it, by it, he misleads many and he guide many. <laughs> I mean, this is the best school ever. You go to the school, 50% of the student will be misguided and 50% will, will be guided by the same teacher. Can you believe it? So Allah, he sent a book to a prophet. And this book, when we read it, many of us, we will be misguided by the same book. And many of us will be guided by the same book. I mean, what kind of book this book is? <laughs> oh boy. What? So this is the purpose of the parable of Allah? To mislead many. And to guide many? So what we did? Brothers and sisters, I'm going to give you a teaching is going to misguide many of you and will guide many of you. ACP, how I will be? Am, am I going to be the misguided or guided? It's based in the Loto. <laughs> and if you Muslim believe that Allah, he decide who will believe and who disbelieve before he created him. So what the point of this parable? <laughs> 
if faith in Islam is a decree of Allah, it's a fate, it's not something you decide. So what the point? Some they will be misguided, some will be guided. Ah, so this is what happened to this guy. He did read the Quran and he was misguided by the Quran. That's deep. That's deep. How beautiful. Alhamdulillah. That's so good to be true. So this guy, he opened the Quran and he did read the Quran and then he found that there is in the Quran misguiding verses, so he left Islam. This is what the verse is saying. جهاز المناقصات المركزية ثلاثة ديوان الخدمة المدنية أربعة الفتوى والتشريع خمسة متابعة الأداء الحكومي ستة سوق الكويت الأوراق المالية سبعة Why you, you Muhammad why what's wrong with you change your diet man what did Allah intend by this parable uh -huh. What his intention is, <laughs> by it he mislead. I mean, look, even he starts with misleading part. Allah gave parable to mislead. Oh, is that making me dizzy now? So here, yeah, Allah, what? Uh, this is how smart the parable of Allah to the point will make you dizzy and will make you leave Islam. I mean, look how genius he is. So he give you parable when you listen to it. There's a chance of 50-50, you will leave Islam forever, and there's a chance of 50-50, you will be guided. <laughs> oh, boy. And then you will go in the comment section, you will see a guy posting for you. Do you see the Old Testament says there is a slavery? Is that the word of God? They never answer about what we talk about. If you go to the comment section, you will see Muslim posting the same thing. And there's a guy, he comes, he says, I left, his, left, uh, left the church in the 2006 or 2004. He kept repeating the same copy paste in every page. I will shave my beard if you are not a Muslim since you were a baby like your prophet. Because obviously you keep repeating the same thing. Now listen. The drama continue. Many, they decide to help this guy to see the truth. And they start posting for him verses. Some they are cursing him. Uh, this guy is saying here something very funny. He said, from the father of the cats, Ja'a and Abi Huraira, Huraira mean cats, okay? بَدَأَ الْإِسْلَامُ غَرِيبًا وَسَيَعُودُ غَرِيبًا And then he said, this is a scary hadith. Oof, 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 oof. Why is it scary to see it? Let's see it. Because people don't speak uh, uh, Arabic, as you know, so we have to show them. This is the guy, the comment, he said, this is a scary hadith. Man. It's happening, the prophecy of the Prophet of Allah. And you say Prophet of Allah is not the Prophet. Here we go. Islam is start as a small religion and is going to come back as a small religion. So you Muslim, you can say everybody will convert to Islam. Islam will dominate. And when Muhammad is saying the opposite, what's wrong with you? You follow Muhammad or you follow uh, Shish uh, Kabab Hamas uh, news agency? So this guy is saying it's happening. Islam is started as a small and will go back small. Yeah, we are shrinking it. <laughs> we are in the heart of Arabia making people life on air leave Islam. I mean, look how look how crazy the situation is. They are not even hiding it no more. So he said, 
This is scary. This guy is saying me, Allah, fix us in our religion. Okay, Allah will fix you, don't worry, but in a different way. <clears throat> this guy is saying, I ask Allah, the Lord of the throne. I thought you will say the Lord of the ring, because you remember the Lord of the ring of Solomon? <laughs> to open his eyes and show him, you eat it. Don't you see? Don't you know that Allah, he says, that Allah guide not the one who he misguide? I mean, what's wrong with the Muslims? Don't you know? You didn't know the Quran. Isn't it the Quran says, Allah guide not those who he mislead? This is why my book is called <laughs> Deception of Allah. One of them. <clears throat> Let us see the verses. Asking Allah to guide him. Idiot. I do not know your religion. Here we go. <clears throat> oh boy. Woman, you did Allah. The one who Allah misguide, no one can guide him again. This is Quran. What you will do now? According to your religion, if somebody leave Islam, Allah make him leave Islam. And if Allah make him leave Islam, nobody can make him a Muslim. Do you see it? Chapter 4, verse number 143. <clears throat> and the funny translation here says that who Allah sent astray. I mean, where, where is the word sent astray in Arabic? It says yudlil, yudlil, mislead, lie, deceive. This is what yudlil mean. Since when it's mean sent away, like, hey, I will send you astray, okay? <laughs> It is literally mislead and deceive. A scam, in other one, other word. Let us see different translation. Maududi, dudi. Hey, dudi, how are you? The Muslim like maududi. They dangle between one and the other faith, disbelieve, and belong neither to door nor to door to complete. And what this guy is talking about, okay? And he whom Allah lets go astray for him, you can find no way. What? 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 I mean, this is a new word now. When you tra when you change the translation, translation as you tra you change the whole Quran, it's like a new Quran. Let us see different verses. I'm not satisfied yet. I want to see more. Mm -hmm. Let us see more. <clears throat> How guidance arrived to us. Look at this. Look at this. Genius. Science. Logic. Those who reject ayat. Mm -hmm. Muhammad, he came with the proofs. Which proof? Like one. Which one? He went to the journey heaven, nobody saw him. He claimed that he had the power of 40 men in bed, even his wife, she said he imagined. Hmm. Or death and dump in darkness. Okay, thank you for telling us. Allah send a stray who he wills and he guide on a straight path whom he will. So, look, what? It's Allah's fault. It's Allah who sent astray who he want. And again, the word astray is false. It says the one who deceive is Allah and the one who guide is Allah. <clears throat> what is this? So what the problem with those people then? If Allah is the one who will guide and Allah is the one who misguide. If Allah the one who deceive and is Allah, he is the one who lead you to the, to the right path. So what the problem? Why people will go to hell? Isn't it obvious that we should go after Allah?
It's in the front of you. It says it's Allah who misguide people, and it's not it's not me who misguide me. It's Allah who misguide me. Allah who deceive me. So how I'm going to go to hell? Yeah, thank you. The one is saying, who needs shaitan if we have Allah? Because if if Allah is the one who misguide and deceive, so shaitan do what for living? <laughs> who is shaitan? Exactly. <laughs> huh? Who needs shaitan when you have Allah? Exactly. So if, if Allah is the one who misguide and Allah is the one who guide, if Allah is the one who take you astray and he deceive you, and Allah the one who guide you. So shaitan do what exactly? What his job? Hmm? This is again chapter 6 verse number 39 for the one is asking. And there is tons of verses etc. In chapter 6, 125, things is even get funnier. Look, whomsoever Allah will guide, he open his breast. Mm -hmm. Who was a, who was not a Muslim and he become a Muslim? Did Allah open your breast? <laughs> I forgot. Yes, Allah he do that. According to Muhammad, Allah he sent an angel and they did plastic surgery for the Prophet. And they open his chest and they cut it from ear to ear, which means to his pubic area. Uh -huh. Allah, He open your chest and He make it uh, extending. No need to go to Thailand for those who go to Thailand to do plastic surgery. Here we go. Zoin, if you if you became a Muslim, that's mean Allah He choose you to for you to do for you a free plastic surgery. Here we go. Prophet of Allah said, when I was sitting etc. next to etc. behind etc. after etc. He said that uh, two angels they came to me. Jibril he cut open this part from here to here, all the way to his testicles, which makes sense because testicles have to do with the breast, you know, expanding, you know, because testicles is the way to, it's the one they control. This is why they are coming out, my my friend, like me. Why they are out? Because they're it's so narrow inside, so like they go out, and then they cut off his chest and they cut his abdomen. Uh, people will laugh about me how I say abandonment. My friend, this is the correct English. We are the Arab who created English. Abandonment, abandonment. And then they wash it with zamzam. This is true. According to science, you have to wash when you take all the heart and the liver and the, you know all the things like all the you open the truck, you take it out, put it in zamzam water, you wash it. And then after they wash it with their hands, look, they don't use machine. Alhamdulillah. Jibril is not into technology. He uses his hands. Easier, 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 easier. Okay, now give me give me the, the, the detergent. Easier, the detergent is Zamzam. -zam. If you want to buy a detergent, I advise you to buy Zam Zam. Zam Zam. What is that? Going back to our topic, you can read this story if you want. This is the reference here. Sahih al Bukhari. <coughs> Hadith number 7517. But because this is not our topic, so we will not read the whole thing. The whole thing is hilarious. You will die laughing. And actually, your wife, she might ask you to become a Muslim so you will have bigger chest. <laughs> my husband, why your chest is narrow? Mm -hmm. What's wrong with my chest? Oh, the chest of the the chest of the neighbor is way bigger than yours. I can put my head there. <laughs> what neighbor are you talking about? Oh, the neighbor which Muhammad he used, uh, you know. You know. <laughs> Going back to the topic. So, Allah, He guide who He will and He deceive who He will. What a joke. So, what shaitan do? Huh? Any Muhammadan can tell me? Hmm. In chapter 7, verse 186, it says, Whomsoever Allah deceive, not send astray. 
None can guide him. Oof, 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 oof. So let them wander blindly. Genius. <clears throat> they are asking Allah about the our judgment. Tell them Allah knows best. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> uh, let us continue because uh, there is more, a lot more. Chapter 9, verse 115. Allah will not never, will never let people astray. Sorry, uh, again they say astray. I mean, what a liar. This is, this is the word you deal deceive so Allah will never lead people astray after he has guide them what is that, is that who, who is the translator guys anyone anyone see the the, the, the stupid verse what the verse is saying anyone notice what the verse is saying I want to see in the chat I'm looking at the chat now before I wasn't looking who is going to tell me? We mentioned a verse before, which is totally the opposite from this verse. Which verse? Anyone tell me? This verse says, Allah will not deceive you after he guided you until he make it clear for them what they should avoid right <laughs> okay do you remember the the verse we mentioned here let us go back chapter 3 verse number 85 you remember it let us go to chapter 385 and love together. So again, this is, we are in chapter 9, verse 115. How shall Allah guide people who disbelieve after they believe and after they bore witness that messenger of Allah is a true after a clear proof. Okay. So how shall Allah guide who? Those who became Muslims. He will not guide them. Okay. What he will do then? Allah will never lead people into deception after he has guided them until he make it clear for them as the, to, to, to what they should avoid. But isn't it you who lead people astray? It's not them. Look, look. Allah will never lead astray. This is the Muslim translation, not my translation. After he guided them until he make it clear what she avoid. Okay, so after you make them clear for them to avoid, and then you be then you lead them astray. <laughs> Listen to me, brothers and sisters. I'm going to teach you swimming. And I will not make you drown until I teach you how to swim. And after I teach you how to swim, I will drown you. Look, what the heck? Why you would drown me? This is what the verse is saying. Allah will not deceive me until he guide me and tell me what to avoid. And then he deceive me. The same verse saying that.
You know what? I want to open the dictionary because this word here is bothering me. They keep saying lead astray, lead astray. Maybe Christian Prince is lying. You know? Maybe maybe the dictionary doesn't say that, CB, you know? Let us go to the dictionary, the Arabic dictionary. <clears throat> Give me a second. Let me find it. All right, we search for it. Here we go. <clears throat> we will copy the word in the front of you from the Arabic text. As it is. We will take it to the dictionary, dictionary piece upon him, and we will post it here. Enter. Look what the dictionary says. Look, look, they put for you. He let goes astray. <laughs> but in the top it says to mislead. Quran. <laughs> to what? To mislead. <laughs> Misdirecting, misguiding, misleading, uh, uh, perverting. Uh, all those, brother. False action, false action. Allah will do false action to you. Uh, uh, let's, this is the bent of the use for sure, you know. Uh, <clears throat> so in the top it says Quran to mislead. So Allah will not mislead you until He guide you. Genius. So first you guide me. Uh, brother, do you know how to, how to go to Las Vegas? Yes, brother, it's very easy. Take highway 222-22007, okay? And then take highway, and now he's guiding me. Almost I arrived to, 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 to Las Vegas, and then he misguided me again. And he said, take, 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 take this exit. And I find myself going again, going back to Los Angeles. Genius. So what the Quran in Arabic is, mislead, deceive. If we take, this is, you see here, it says, if we take the original word, which is yudil, without L, let us take the L off. That is the original word, yudil. Adallah. Look, 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 look. Adallah, it's a verb, which is play a trick. Draw a person by trickery to deceive. Do you see it? To what? I know this <clears throat> this bar I'm trying to get rid of it so we can show you the text. This bar is covering the thing. This stupid bar like uh, is to share the sign here, you know. I'm trying to get rid of it. Give wrong information. So Allah guide you, and then Allah will deceive you and give you wrong information. And then Allah, when he misguide you and give you wrong information, you go to hell. Thank you very much. So first Allah, he do what? He guide you. And then after he guide you and make it clear for you, then he trick you. And brother and sister, Allah is the bet of the tiver. And if you don't believe me, look at me. This is who? This is Zachary Naik. When I get married, Allah came to me in the dream and said to me, marry the woman. And he said to me, see the beautiful. And because we are Muslim and see the in Burka, I could not see her. And when we went to the bathroom, I mean the bedroom, I found that she looked like a man. And Allah deceived me, tricked me. And now I became Zachary Naik husband. What kind of religion this religion is? So why the Muslim they keep saying lead astray, lead astray, lead astray? In fact, you see, lead astray is not far away from the meaning, but lead astray, you know, it's not really what the word is used in Arabic. It is to deceive, to give wrong information, to lie.
So if we go back again to the Quran, <clears throat> and we try to analyze the stupidity of the author, Allah will never lead people by deceiving them after he guided them until, so still he will deceive you. So Allah will guide you first and then he will deceive you. Look at this God. That's deep. I really appreciate Allah. Who can do this better than Allah? Nobody. Nobody knew, nobody knew, nobody knew, nobody, da -da -da. nobody. Who can do this? What a God he is. So brothers and sisters, I will open a school to teach you. And in this school, I will teach you how to do things right. And then I will start teaching you how to do wrong. <laughs> so at the end of the day, you end wrong. <clears throat> hmm. So, Muslims, they start posting comment videos. Everybody want to guide this guy to bring him back to Islam. And for sure, he is getting a lot of a threat. And look, this one. Allahumma thabitna ala deenaka wahdina wa qarribna ilayk. Oh Allah, keep us, you know, fix us in your religion. And look what she is wearing. What religion is yours? Isn't it this is haram according to Islam? What is this? True Muslim. They are Muslims. He is the, according to Islam, you are the Muslim too. According to Islam, you are apostate. It is, it is okay. <clears throat> ah. This guy is making a threat. يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مَنْ يَرْتَدَّ مِنْكُمْ عَنْ دِينِهِ فَسَوْفَ يَأْتِي اللَّهَ بِقَوْمٍ يُحِبَّهُمْ أَوْ يُحِبُّونَهُمْ Oh, you believe. You know, why the Muslim keep saying nobody leave Islam, nobody leave Islam? When the verse, the Quran is full of verses about people left Islam. Look, Allah is, you know, look like Allah was lying. And then Allah will bring people who do jihad against those who do Islam, do leave Islam. But you are the one who deceived them. So why you want to do jihad against them? Isn't it Allah is the one who deceives whoever he want? And guide whoever want, he want? <clears throat> this guy is quoting, you know, quoting this verse. Chapter 5, verse number 54. Oh, who you believe, whoever among you, turns back from his religion Islam. Allah will bring people who will love him. <laughs> and they will love him. They are humble toward the believer, but they are going to be tough, fighting, criminal killers, do jihad in the weight of Allah. So this guy is making a threat. We will come after you. But I assure you, he's a potato coward. Like those YouTubers, you know, Fifi and Mimi and Susu, they claim to be Muslims, but they are sitting in London, paying tax, and they are carrying a passport, have the, the crown of the queen, and the crown of the queen, she have a cross in it. Instead of doing jihad, they will you know, make YouTube. Uh, <clears throat> this person saying, this uh, journalist, because he's a TV host, he is a very good man. I don't know what happened to him. He's a very, very nice person. What happened? We pray to Allah. I don't know what happened. <laughs> oh, boy. All of them, they are like, what happened? What happened to this man? What happened? And this guy is quoting a verse from the Quran. If we read this verse, we will die laughing. Mm. 
Well, you know, in Kuwait, in Kuwait, in case you do not know, there is many uh, ex-Muslims. Since the Americans are controlling the country, so the country is different from what it used to be before. The one is really in control is, is, is the American. So I don't think they can do anything to him. Uh, there is many ex-Muslims already, and they have a church. Actually, they have a picture for the the founder of that church. Uh, let us see here. In this uh, clip here, see, here they will show you the one who, I think, here, let's see. Uh, this is, here we go. This is the guy who used to be, a, a, he's a Kuwaiti. He, be, he became a Christian, and he established a Christian TV in Kuwait. So not only they have, they have a church, they have a Christian TV in Kuwait. All right? So things are really changed. Very much changing. Um, all right, let us see more, more comment. <clears throat> uh, this guy is telling you a description for anyone is suffering from problem to sleep. The prophet said a description to sleep. Okay, I want to hear, I mean, I want to hear what he's saying. <laughs> Just wait, <laughs> even though this is out of the topic, but they are hilarious. Okay, tell us, brother. What is the description for people who cannot sleep? Tell us, brother. Uh -huh. Take this description from, from the Prophet himself if you have a problem to sleep. A person whose name is Khalid ibn al-Makhzumi, he came to the Prophet and he said to him, I cannot sleep. The Prophet said, Huh. The Prophet, he said to him, if you want to go to bed, do this. Say, Allah is the God of the seven skies. Like what? find the hadith he is quoting Whew. look at this hadith and they even they put it for you in Latin letters so you can use it without knowing what it's mean so now if you are an American or uh, Korean or Vietnamese or uh, Indonesian you can say this Allahumma rabba samawati wa labba al-andi wa dama dabakata wa la labba labba labida sasa chati tashi tachutu hasata hasasha shushu and then you will sleep translation now Allah all the Lord of the seven heavens and all they overshadow Lord of the seven world they will and, and, and all they uphold Lord of the devils and all they lead astray. But you just show the Quran says Allah he lead astray. The devil he lead astray now. Ah, he is the Lord of the devils. I got it. He is the boss. <laughs> he is the biggest devil. So Muhammad supposedly he give this as a prescription for the one who cannot sleep, brother. So this guy in Twitter is saying, brother. If you don't know how to sleep, uh, he said to him, uh, read this, brother, say this before you go to bed, and you, you will sleep like crazy. <laughs> I think I'm getting sleepy because I just read it. Uh, guys, I feel sleepy, uh, and I'm losing my energy. A second ago, I was fine, and now I feel so sleepy. <laughs> Yeah, because you because I said the, the the player, I said the player. You say that you sleep right away. Allahumma, let us do it together. So all of us we will sleep. By the end we finish this prayer. All of you we have we have one thousand people listening. By the end of reading this, all of us will be snoring. Wonderful, wonderful. Allahumma rabbu samawati. Okay. 
we go back to your Twitter. Oh, Twitter, what a joke. All right, and this guy is reciting Quran for us. Okay, thank you. Uh, this guy is sitting shower. Okay, there is a guy. Hold on, I want to find the guy. Oh, uh, here we go. Hold on. This guy, he is training this guy how to get out of this. He said, so I'll to 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 Ustaz Muhammad al Mu'min, the person who left Islam, is asking him a question. And I wish he can answer me with logic and using his brain. As we knew him as a journalist, he's a smart person, very well known. And now he will ask the question. So we listen to the question. Tell us the question. A question to this guy, he became a Christian. Okay, we seek Allah what? We seek Allah to fix us in our religion. Get a crazy glue. Okay, and he liked Christianity. Okay, so Ustaz, I have a question for you. Did you know what the religion you follow now is saying about the Prophet Lut? What? Tell us. In the in the in the Old Testament, in the in, 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 those people they mix between Injil and they are ignorant, you know. Even the Quran says that Injil is the book of Jesus. The the Torah is the book of Moses. He said this is in the Injil, idiot. Anyway, so anyway, uh, in the book of okay, uh, Genesis it says what? Uh, uh -huh. Translation. He is saying in the book of Genesis, chapter 19, it says that the daughter of Lot, they slept with the father and they made him drunk. Yes, brother. How disgusting. Tell us more. I see a lot of refuge by Allah. They slept with their dad, brother. They slept with their dad. I seek refuge by Allah. You idiot. He is saying they accuse the Prophet Lut that he drank wine and he got drunk and he stepped with his wife, his, his daughters. You stupid liar. You coward. The verse in the front of you, it says they slept with him and he was he was asleep. He was totally drunk. And the reason for that, because they are living alone and they were afraid they cannot have babies. There's nobody. They live alone. And this is not a prophet. And secondly, the, the Bible is reporting a story. It's not God said to them, so if now I go and I sleep with my daughter, are you going to say, God, he said that to me? And then somebody write in the book that this guy, he did this. So liars and cowards. Secondly, Lot is not a prophet. Can you tell me the prophecy of Lot? Mr. Prophet Lot? Muslims, one of the most Crazy religion. Anyone for them is a prophet. Zulkarnain, Alexander the Great, is a prophet. Al Khadr, which is a fiction guy, is not exist, is a prophet. Tons of names we never heard. They are a prophet. Anyone he see in his way, he make him a prophet. But here you see how they lie. When this man he left the city, which was committing and full of sin, they live alone. They stay away from people. And those daughters who this guy is quoting what they did, they are not guided by Allah. Or no, see, they are guided by Allah. Exactly. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> they are not guided by my God to do that. They are guided by Allah. Let us, let us go to the hadith to show this idiot what he just said. Isn't it the Quran said? That when somebody commit adultery, Allah, he wrote the portion of adultery you will do, the portion 
for him before he created him. Is that a hadith written by your prophet? Made by your prophet and about Allah? Verily Allah has the fixed very portion of adultery which man will do indulge in and which of him of necessity he must commit. So if this story happened according to you and it's a shame, we'll go question Allah because Allah the devil is the one who he wrote for those daughters to sleep with their father. And as long as you're against daughter to sleep with her father, so how you explain to me this? Potato. Isn't it this is your Quran? Chapter 25, verse number 54. It says, وَهَوَ الَّذِي خَلَقْ مِنَ الْمَاءِ بَشَرَ فَجَعَلَهُ نَصَبًا وَصَهْرًا Explanation. It says, according to the interpretation, قَالَ إِبْنُ الْعَرَبِي You read Arabic. If you're a person who reads Arabic, this guy is reading Arabic. He is an Arab, so. النَّسَبُ وَإِبَارَ عَنْ خَلْطِ الْمَاءِ بَيْنَ الذَّكَرِ وَالْأُنْثَى عَلَى وَجْهِ الشَّرَعِ Nasab lineage is about mixing the water of the man and the women according to the law so if it was illegal which is not, not under the law it is just a creation and there is no lineage in islam if you are a child of uh, 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 illegal relationship which means not marriage you are not considered the son of the person and he is saying and this is why it says it is not considered under his statement in the Quran. This is why it is not considered as the Quran says and forbid. It's forbidden for you, your mother and your daughter. So the Quran have a verse says it's forbidden for you, your mothers and your daughters. But because she is his daughter out of marriage, so she is not forbidden. And the guy continues saying. And because of that, it doesn't go under. So the daughter is forbidden to sleep with if she is a daughter from marriage. Are you there, Muslims? If your daughter is not from marriage, you can sleep with her. لأنها ليست ببنت له في أصح القولين لعلماءنا وأصح القولين في الدين وإذا لم يكن نسبا شرعا فلا صير شرعا because she is not his daughter according to the most accurate opinion of the scholars and the most accurate opinion of the religion and if there is no lineage from marriage so there is no uh, thing for forbidden for daughter and the mother of the daughter and what is forbidden from kosher is not going to be for, for which means what is forbidden is going to be forbid, forbidden only if it's coming from kosher from something right so your daughter from something right is forbidden for you your daughter out of marriage is not forbidden for you so according to Islam now you can have sex with your daughter and because some they will say it's not true, I'm going to use Google Translation. I mean, what we can do? And I will post the link for you in the chat. What we can do? Here we go. And this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And now I will do translation in the front of your eyes. Translate to English. He is the one who created a human being from water, so he made him a human, meaning it was created from a sperm. So he made it, this is Google translation, remember that, it's okay. So it, he made a man, a lineage, and a son-in-law, which means if it's a marriage, it's considered as a son of law, if you are in marriage. If not, you are not. If you are having sex with a daughter of somebody, you are not son of law, and whatever coming from this relationship is not considered your children's. They are just children of adultery. And he said, uh, I mean, translation is very funny here. 
uh, he made everything from every living thing, every living creature from water, which is stupid because Allah, according to the Quran, he created the, the genie from fire and the angels are created from light. So not everything is living is created from water. That's stupid. In this verse, it says here, you continue. <clears throat> Ibn al-Arabi said, lineage is referred to mix of water between male and female according to the manner of Sharia. If it was, and, and if it was a sin, it was absolute creation and it was not established lineage. So you cannot consider it a daughter. You cannot consider the, the if you if you sleep with a woman and she have a child from you, boy or a girl, that is not considered as your child. It's just a creation. But in this case here, we are talking about daughter, because later he will say his daughter. So, and therefore, it did not come under his saying, which means Quran saying, your mother and your daughter have forbidden for you from fornication. It's forbidden for you to sleep with them and fornicate with them. Okay? Because, because, a court, this is the most accurate opinion saying of our scholar. So here it says, because this person is born of adultery and she is your daughter, yes. So it's not forbidden for you to sleep with the mother and her daughter. Read carefully. And if it is not from Sharia, there's no lineage in it. So it's not forbidden by the law. It's not forbidden by the law to have sex with your daughter. Then adultery is not forbidden with the daughter and her mother. What is forbidden from what is permissible is not forbidden from what is forbidden. Do you see it? So in their religion, they can have sex with their children. And again, the, the, the website I gave you, this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And this is one of their biggest scholar, al qurtubi And the one is talking there. They are, it says even there, this is the most accurate view of the religion and the scholars. The most accurate, the most correct, do you see? The most accurate according to the religion and according to scholars. You can have sex with your daughter. So when this guy, this idiot, he's saying to to the to uh, to Muhammad, who left Islam, became a Christian. How you can accept to follow a religion saying that? Actually, you see, this is a proof that you Muslims, you lie when you say that our Bible is corrupted, because if something need to be taken off. So an idiot like you will not make a st false statement. Is this a story maybe? But we did not. Why? Because this is a true history. This is not God said to them, go and have sex with your, with, with, with your father. It's not God who ordered them and go have sex like you now in the Quran. So because they are desperate, they do not know how to, to answer this guy. He's a very famous person who every Muslim in the Gulf, they love him, especially women. Then they wake up in the morning and they find this guy wearing a cross and saying, I am a Christian. They could not take it. So the comment is endless, and I say to Muslims, I mean, why this guy will not leave Islam? A religion promised me a penis was going to be endless. Is that from God? A religion promising me, if I kill some people, I will go to heaven. A religion telling me that the prophet, he will be having the power of 4,000 men for sex. I mean, why I want to believe in such a garbage? Hmm?
Here there is other Muslim. He's a sheikh. He is refuting this guy. He says the Quran says, those who say that the Messiah is Allah, they are kuffar. We don't say the Messiah is Allah. Allah is the devil. We just showed you. Allah is the misguiding. Allah is the Lord of, the, of, of Satan's. Allah is the Lord of the devil. Even your prophet, he says that. He is the Lord of the devils. He is what? He is the Lord of the devils. Oh Allah, the Lord of the seven heaven. And why there are seven, by the way? I mean, he should not leave Islam. The Quran says there is seven skies and seven earth. Hey, Muslims, where we can find the seven earth? The Lord of the devils. I thought that is Solomon. Like, like Solomon, he gave his job to uh, Allah. <clears throat> There is a million reasons to leave this cult. I mean, who in the world want to believe in religion that if you believe in it, Allah will give you 80,000 little boys? What? The last people who enter paradise. Oh, this is the last one. The one who get the lowest, the lowest. You see, this is the lowest. The least of the people who enter paradise in the position with 80,000 servants, they are boys. 80,000 servants? 80,000 servants. Muhammad, aren't you exaggerating too much, my friend? I mean, if my food will be ready by wishing, wishing the food to be there, what servant will do? If I will never have laundry, if my house will never get dirty, if there's no dishes to wash, the second you eat, all the, the dark garbage disappear. You don't go to the bathroom. You don't sweat. You don't get dirty. And you don't change your clothes. So what the servant will do? And the brother, your house will be a tent of pearl. <whistles> Always I want to have a tent of pearl. And the distance between the tent, brother, is like the same distance between uh, 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 Damascus and uh, Yemen. <sighs> this is like what? Uh, 2,000, 3,000 miles? This is the distance between... This is small. For sure this is small. I mean, you will have 80,000 little boys. me and all of you will be in the heaven 33 years old <clears throat> and this is what here it says hold on young or old shall be brought back in paradise 30 years old what this guy what he is talking about they are they are not quoting the, the whole hadith Anyway, I mean, you should go, you should become a Muslim, you know, yeah. Actually, you know, for me, the there is there is a story in the in the Hadith Muhammad he mentioned it. This one is enough to make me a Muslim. You know, when uh, 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 when the the, the stone uh, stole the cloth of Moses. I mean. Since then, I have a phobia from stones. I don't, I don't get sent. I don't sit on them. I don't leave my clothes on them. Like I go to the swimming pool, brother. What I do? I will never let my clothes in the uh, in the in the in the stone, even if it's a concrete. Because look, stones they can move by the order of Allah, and they can steal their wallet. Allah 